A new jet engine technology was just unveiled, and this could truly change the future of the aviation industry forever. You know, when we think about flying, we often picture these massive engines roaring to life, powering our journeys across the skies. And yes, today's jet engines are incredibly efficient. They've been fine-tuned over decades to get us where we're going faster and in more comfort than ever before. But here's the kicker. As good as these engines are, they're not perfect. With climate change becoming a hotter topic every day, Day, and everyone from policymakers to everyday travelers pushing for greener ways to fly, the aviation industry is at a crossroads. It's time for something new, something revolutionary. So what if I told you that right at this moment, brilliant minds are working on not just one, but four groundbreaking engine technologies that could change everything? first revolutionary technology is the open fan engine concept. The brains behind this innovation? A team from GE Aviation, led by their chief engineer, Chris Lawrence. So what's this open fan thing all about? Well, think of it like this. Normal jet engines are surrounded by a big, heavy case called an cell. But with the open fan design, they've stripped away that case. This leaves the fan blades out in the open. Hence the name, open fan. It sounds simple, but it's a huge deal. By removing the nacelle, the engine loses a lot of weight. That means the plane doesn't have to work as hard to fly, which cuts down on fuel use. Less fuel burning equals less pollution. So it's a win for keeping our air clean. Plus, with no case in the way, the engine can have bigger fan blades. These larger blades can move more air, which helps the engine run even more efficiently. Now, this idea isn't totally new. GE had played around with open fan designs way back in the 1980s, but they've come a long way since then. With all the advancements in technology and materials, they've been able to solve a lot of the old problems, like making the engines quieter and more reliable. In 2021, GE and Safran, their partners in this, kicked off something called the CFM Rise program. That's a lot, especially considering how much fuel a single flight can use. One of the coolest parts about the open fan engine is how it fits into their planes to make flying greener. These engines can work with 100% sustainable aviation fuels. That's fuel made from renewable resources instead of crude oil. They're also exploring hybrid designs where the engine would use both fuel and electric power. Imagine that, a hybrid plane. The second big technology I want to tell you about is the NASA high-tech engine for airplanes. Imagine engines that not only use less fuel, but also pump out an astonishing amount of power. We're talking about engines that are so efficient they could potentially cut fuel consumption by up to 30% and simultaneously boost engine power by a jaw-dropping 60%. Yes, you heard that right. So how are they planning to achieve these jaw-dropping improvements? First of all, they're supersizing the fan at the front of the engine. This isn't just any increase. It is a massive surge in airflow thanks to a significantly larger fan diameter. More air pushed through the engine means more thrust. But here's the kicker. It uses less fuel to do so. Now let's talk about shrinking. NASA and its partners are on a mission to miniaturize the engine's core. Why? A smaller core means the engine isn't just lighter, but becomes a titan of efficiency, guzzling less fuel, which leads to reduced emissions. A win-win for both the planet and our wallets. But the real magic happens in the nitty-gritty of engineering. They're developing advanced, miniaturized components like small small core compressors with tighter clearances that optimize performance without compromising operability. This includes using cutting-edge materials such as ceramic matrix composites CMCs, in the combustors and turbine blades. These materials are not only tougher and can handle more heat, but they also boost the engine's overall efficiency and durability. And there's more. They're tweaking turbine blades with innovative cooling designs and aerodynamics that can handle extreme temperatures, pushing the boundaries boundaries of what's possible in turbine efficiency. This radical downsizing and power boosting are not just for show. They have a purpose. Future aircraft will need loads of power, especially as we move towards hybrid and turboelectric models. The high-tech project's engines are designed to produce up to four times more power from the same size engine. That's enough to make any future electric plane 
soar like never before. Let us look at the third big breakthrough, electrified aircraft propulsion. This is all about swapping out some of the old school methods we use to power planes with something a bit more modern, electricity. NASA, alongside big names like GE Aviation and Magni X USA Inc. is really pushing the limits with this tech. They're exploring different ways to integrate electric power into aircraft, and here are the main types they're looking at. First up, we've got all electric systems. These planes are like the Teslas of the skies. They run entirely on batteries, and while they don't emit any pollution during flight, the big challenge here is making sure these batteries can hold enough charge to take you where you need to go without being too heavy. Next, there are hybrid electric systems. These are kind of like hybrid cars. Some use a combo of gas turbines and batteries, parallel hybrid. Others might have the turbine charge the battery, which then powers the plane, series hybrid. And then there's a mix of those two, series slash parallel partial hybrid. The cool part? These hybrids can seriously cut down on fuel use and emissions, giving us the best of both worlds. Then there's the turboelectric setup. This doesn't use batteries in flight. Instead, gas turbines power generators that make electricity right on the plane. This electricity then powers motors that turn the fans to lift and move the plane forward. It's a slick system that optimizes energy use and reduces emissions. Now let's switch gears and talk about sustainable aviation fuels, or SAF for short. These fuels are pretty much like the superheroes of the fuel world. They can be made from renewable resources or waste materials, and they're designed to work just like the jet fuel we use today, but with a big plus. They can cut emissions by at least 50% compared to regular jet fuel. The deal with SAF is that it fits right into the planes and infrastructure we already have. No need for any fancy new tech or big changes. You can just fill up a plane with SAF and off you go. But making SAF SAF isn't super cheap or easy yet. It takes a lot of technology and materials, feedstock, and right now there isn't a ton of it going around. Because it's so important for our planet, the US government is all in on making SAF more common. They're doing a bunch of research and trying out ways to make it cheaper and more available. They're looking at how to get more of the stuff we need to make it and finding the best ways to use it once it's made. So why all the fuss about electrified propulsion and SAF? Well, flying is a big part of why our planet is heating up. Planes burn a lot of fuel, and that releases a lot of carbon dioxide, which is a major no-no for climate change. By switching to electric power and using SAF, we can seriously cut down on these emissions. This means cleaner air and a healthier planet. It's not just about being eco-friendly, though. These technologies could also make flying cheaper in the long run, because electricity and SAF could eventually cost less than oil, and even and make planes quieter. Imagine living near an airport and not having to hear planes roaring all the time. Wrapping this up, the story of these engines, this is definitely more than just about technology. It's a tale of ambition, innovation, and the constant push to connect our world in faster, bigger, and better ways. Could an electric airplane ever work? Maybe, but one thing is for sure, aviation industry is about to change forever. See you in the next video.